Yeah, I've been standing here holding my glove for 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, you guys are on my far right. So let's... Bisune is not gonna fit. All oh, right, this is gonna happen every single time. I'm gonna try to not click off. Please. No, wait, this is my first name. Z... Ku. ZQ Beast. <laughs> hmm. ZQ Taco. All right. <laughs> because we can't name the other protagonist. It's plural. Unlike in Q, where you could name them both. <laughs> Ziku Taco, he lives on. We have inherited his name. Is this name acceptable? Yes. Now, the reason why I have to touch screen the bottom screen is because... Because maps. Noteds everywhere. I apparently dropped some frames at some point. Also, there is no English voice acting. So another reason why the delay will be pretty okay for the most part is because I literally have to read over everything anyone says. Whereas all, like, cutscene audio, I'm probably not going to be able to do. Also, we are... We doing okay? Uh... I don't feel like it should take this long. Did we die? Emulator, did you die? <laughs> okay, well, that's an epic, epic start. <laughs> A fantastic beginning. And because this is playing, like, I have a save file. I've I've gotten in the game before, as you can see here. And we have Yo for 15 minutes. <laughs> Two hours of just trying to get the game to start. Feels like it. I've gotten past this point before, so I know it's capable. It's just being a baby. This name is acceptable. There we go! That was supposed to appear! It didn't! <laughs> Hello, yo, what's up? Okay. Now, granted, I only got as far as I could save, and I skipped everything that was skippable, so I didn't see this. I haven't seen this. We do not go astray because we do not know, but because we think we know. That's ominous. <laughs> hey, get up! Jeez, you're finally awake. Class has been over for a while now. I'm not in a theater anymore? Are you still half asleep or something? My head feels like it's spinning. Hey, are you still talking? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, are you sure you're feeling okay? Did you have some kind of weird dream? Shujin High, Classroom 2D. Yes, I fell asleep. 
目が覚めたなら帰るぞ今日の予定を決めないと Let's get back home We need to figure out our plans for the rest of the day Fine, fine ぼやぼやしてたら一日なんてあっという間だからな計画的に過ごせよ You talk a lot The whole day is gonna blow by if we keep fooling around here You need to make better use of your time Yeah, let's get out of here. Yosha! Jugyo Watta! Jigoku da ta ze. Yes, and also another thing about the 3DS. This is an emulator. I don't have 3D turned on. Uh, every background is gonna be blurry when people start talking because it wants you to play the game in 3D. And that's just the game itself. I cannot turn that off. It is unfortunate, but Q also did that. Hell yeah, another day of class complete. Man, that was hellish. No, I was sleepy. Oi, Ryuji, Kiga Nuka, pull yourself together. Don't get all lazy on us now. I may turn the voice off. Oh, Chige, oh, Saikin Kaito done the Kotokanga, I may throw me off after all. I may turn it off. I want to, but then all of the audio. Can I separate the voice audio and scenes from the voice audio and battle? Oh, I don't know. Have to see if we can't, then shit. <laughs> nah, I've just had a hard time falling asleep lately. And a thieves stuff on my mind and all. It's getting so bad. No! Voice actor! Why? I'm yawning for real now! I slept through most of class today. Shut up. So, what are we doing now? Our time limit still weighs off, but who cares? Let's all meet up at the hideout anyway. And do what exactly? Eh, we can figure that out once we're all there. Sounds good to me. Oh, hello! You're very desaturated <laughs> in 3DS chibi form. Oh, hello, everyone. Oh, perfect timing. We were just talking about heading to the hideout. I today also the voice talent in uh, this game. I mean, obviously, in Atlas games in general. They're they're pretty good. Most of them are JoJo voice actors, too. Some of them even share characters. I mean, we knew that with Makoto or Zibitako and Yosuke having the same voice actors. Um, but there's, like, way more. Like, I think Yusuke and Shinjiro share a voice actor. Akihiko shares a voice actor with somebody else. We're gonna be hearing a couple of people twice. Well, I'm free for most of the day. Or for the rest of the day. I have more free time now that things have settled down in the company. Ryuji, everyone a word out to everyone. Haha, <laughs> okay. cute. Let's all meet up at the hideout. Damn, that was fast. Everyone says they're going to meet at LeBlanc. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. Luckily, Cheeto does not make. I mean, at least I don't think he makes an appearance in Q2. I don't know. I guess I can't say that with for certainty. Mm, blur. Yes. Today is Mementos' contribution. That makes it unanimous. Infiltrating Mementos today. 
sound good for Tabu? Did he call her Kuzuma? Is that her name? Is that what- is that how you pronounce that? Also, she's adorable. Yes, sir! Navigator at the ready. Futaba Sakura. Codename Oracle. Foster daughter of the boss, who is currently providing my lodgings. Hacker extraordinaire and former shut-in. Very shy around strangers. Oh! That's cool. <laughs> Compared to the rest of you, I'm still rather inexperienced. But I'm not going to let you down. Haru Okamura. Codename Noir. Third year at Shujin High and Senpai to the rest of the gang. The only daughter of the Okamura Foods Corporation president. <laughs> doing totally fine, Haru. You've been improving so fast. Little cat mouth. <laughs> On Takamaki. Codename Panther, second year classmate, one quarter American and part time magazine model. Bright and cheerful, cares deeply for her friends. Okay, so she's a quarter American. Ne, Makoto. Mementos mo iki do. Hey, Makoto, Mementos action is fine and all, but are we okay on the palace infiltration front? No, there. It'd be best for us to hone our skills in Mementos so we can be prepared for the palace. That's not the voice I gave her, but you know what? Makoto Nijima, codenamed Queen, third year senpai and student council president, accomplished in both literary and martial arts. Very moral and upstanding, but a bit socially awkward. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> These assessments. I like Mementos. I like it. I enjoy exploring mementos. There's so much inspiration to take away from there. Yusuke Kitagawa, Kitagawa, whatever. Codename Fox, second year student at Kosei High with mature, distinct aesthetic sensibilities. His future as an artist is foreseeable to all who meet him. A unique individual. <laughs> Does. He does indeed. I did say he, I think, I'm fairly certain he shares a voice actor with Shinjiro. His voice actor is also very, t I don't know. We may be thrown off. We may be thrown off a little bit by their Japanese VAs over their English ones, but I'll try my best to not start sounding like the Japanese voices when I say it in English. But I may eventually, as I forget how any of them sound, because there's like almost 30 of them. <laughs> I've gotta say, I'm really curious about that place too. I can just tell something odd is going on there. Morgana, codename Mona. Look at how tiny he is! He's so fucking cute! An ounce book. Shit! Fuck! Damn it. I can't. I can't over it. No! He's cute. That's all you need to know. And he also has levitation powers. Yes, he is kitten status. Well, pals are mementos. We're just gonna do what we always do. Ryuji Sakamoto. Codename Skull. Second year and former top runner for the track team. Hot blooded yet compassionate and caring. Often rushes into things without thinking first. Mementos and it's not a good thing. This is his first time heading into Mementos, right? I guess we could always ditch him. <laughs> Sorry for the hint. Speak of the devil. <laughs> my apologies for being late. I've just been keeping my hands quite full. Goro Kechi, codename Crow. Third year at 
He's a third year? I thought, whoa, was I not paying attention? I must have not been paying attention. A third year high school student who is often referred to as the next detective prince due to his sharp deductions and fastidious appearance. I don't know. <laughs> So, I ever heard that we're going to some place called Mementos? That's the Jew. We sure are. <laughs> Roger, Yoka that's Siku. My codename is Joker. I'm a second year at Shujin High and the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I'm currently living above Cafe Le Blanc. I've been put on probation due to a false accusation leveled against me. Third year of being a murderer. <laughs> Well, that's everyone. Oh yeah, also, I can't upscale 2D cutscenes, so if they look kinda funky, uh... Not much I can do about it. <laughs> it's gonna look a little pixely. Another brilliant Joker. victory, Joker! Memento. She'd be all out, yes. <laughs><笑> So, this place was formed by society's collective unconscious. That makes it the entire population's palace. This seems to be another different form of the cognitive world. Who knows what lies within its steps? It strikes at the heart of my intellectual curiosity. It's pretty frightening as well. Ish. I still remember hating this place when we first started coming here. With dallying like this, we're gonna end up meeting some noobs. Mona, you ought to transform. No handed style, yes. <laughs> Mona? Mona chan. What's the matter, Mona chan? Oh, yeah. Oh, mobs, not mobs. <laughs> well, I thought because we're in a higher. Whatever. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's just that Mementos feels different than usual. Different to how? <laughs> Ain't this what it's always like? Hey, Joker, what do you think? Uh, no clue. Oh. I too have no idea. <laughs> I guess it's just my imagination. And anyway, it's transformation time. Back up, everyone. That <laughs> turns into a car. What a fascinating world this is. It's even more cramped in here thanks to the new guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I'd followed you on all on foot, I wouldn't have been able to keep up. To be totally honest, I'm pretty sure we're way over max capacity. Welcome back, Mona Van. <laughs> Mona Chan, are you okay? I 
Who do you think you're talking to here? Just relax and leave it to- What was that? Ah, cat noises. Oh, hey, Queen, what's the deal? Queen, what's the deal? Trying out some wild bag style driving? It's not me. The needle's moving by itself. What's happening? Is Oliver Wink causing a problem? I don't think that would cause this. You have to get something off the ground. <laughs> I've never! Oh no, I've lost all control! Oh hey, the who is a PNG and who's a 3D model? <laughs> Pinocchio, Pinocchio Crow. Mina, you okay? I think I'm dead. Is Joker alive? Crow, what the? What's this? Oh my god! <laughs> the high dash texture pack was not applied to that shot of skull. Mementos <laughs> Hey, everyone, look at the meta now. It's not working. Something's wrong here. Everyone's got the same error screen. So everyone's app is bugged out at the same time? <laughs> Mona's yeah, other form can also levitate. Look at that tiny body! Yeah. We'll just have to deal. No, that seems highly unlikely. We need to gather more information. Maybe we can find a clue to this if we look around the area. Crap! Oh, come! Wait a second. Look at his uniform. That's not for Japan's police. Looks like some foreign cops uniform. Reminds me of the ones I've seen in FPSs. Seems like he's not a shadow either. <laughs> then maybe we should try to ask him where we are? Huh? Talk to a cop in these clothes? Uh, good luck, Queen! Me? Queen! <laughs> <laughs> bagrowing him. Just threaten him with your spikes, Queen! <laughs> 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 
Fine. I suppose it was my idea in the first place. Yeah. Alright, I'll give it a try. But if, you, if something goes wrong, I need you all to back me up. Um, excuse me. Hmm? Whoa there, what's with the getup? Just so. <laughs> she looks like she just stepped out of Wild Max. Uh, we're headed to a costume party, but we've gotten ourselves lost. Uh, I don't know. Well, it well, eh. movies. Ugh, such a cliche answer. That's what makes it perfect. Castle party? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a party, huh? Those are some pretty elaborate costumes. Ooh, he actually bought it. That was easier than we expected. Perhaps our ostentatious styles helps to bolster our credibility. So, what's the problem? If it's not much trouble, could you tell us where we are right now? This is the first floor of Kabo City. Don't you know anything about the mega uh, megalopolis? Ugh. Ugh, Never heard of it, Joker? Haven't got a clue. Yeah, me I'd never forget a name like that if I have, if I heard it before. Maybe it's a new theme park or something. You're all acting awfully suspicious. Where did you say you came from? Oh, from that away. We got here through mementos. Um, we can't remember. Honesty is the best policy, but also at the same time, I don't think he'll understand. So I'll do this. And which way is that? He's not buying it! <laughs> we came from Japan. This is not going well. <laughs> You're all shake. Let's hear what you've been up to around here. Don't feed me any more lies. Wait, please. We really are. Oh no! Back up! Make tons of it! Let's go! Those masked individuals are behaving suspiciously. Arrest them immediately. Roger that. We'll take the charge. Oh shit! Get the bricks! Sorry! Go! Don't let them get away! Shoot the cops! Wait, where are we running? Uh, Oracle! Choi Just a sec. Let's see. Escape route, escape route. Joker, that way. It should be all clear in that direction. Alright, let's go, guys. Yes, I am. Un I understand how move. Hey, oh, look oh, out! Oh. We've got upcoming enemies ahead. 
Wait, what are these guys? Shadows? P probably. They seem different from the usual ones we've seen, though. Ugh, this makes no sense! At any rate, let's concentrate Don't on finding our way out of here as quickly as possible. She's right. We have policeman tailors. Skull, let's go handle it. Got it. Let's do this. Now let's assist you as well. I'll leave the Joker. ones on your end to you, Joker. You've never seen that shadow before. Yes. So let's hurry up and kick its butt. Wait, what the? My body what? feels weird. Oh, I can't gather up my strength like usual either. Two. So it's not just me. I'll have to figure it out later. Here it comes. Oh. The controls are a little different. やってる。うん。ちょっと。あ。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。
freaking out with that. That that is weird. Huh? It's shining, but what is it? Hey, that's it. Looks like we can escape through there, and it seems to be enemy free. Are you sure? I think. You think? The top of Kyle. What should we do, Joker? There's no other way out. Should we go for it? Let's do it. Hey, there's no time for debate. The shadow's closing in fast. It's right there! What the F in hell is that? Ah! I've never seen anything like it in my life. I'm sensing an insane power from it. It's too dangerous for us. There's no time to think about it. Treats are our only option. Damn, looks like we're all in. Everyone, jump! I don't know. We'll see. I may lower the individual voice audio a little bit more, but who knows. Hey, and there's the intro. How does it feel? How does it feel? And then I don't know the rest of the song. That wasn't fun. <laughs> and that's why I skipped the intro. Uh... Disturbing themes, I'm assuming, for Q2. Definitely for Q. Uh, remember, and I quote... <laughs> the line after uh, Zen showed Ray the school that she never got to go to because she died in the hospital before she could go to high school and got really upset. And then exit flashback, and then she proceeded to gouge her eyes out. I stopped her and took her memories away. Link. Yeah. Save the story up to this point? Yes. Goodbye, yo. <laughs> Farewell. It took me twice the amount of time to get to this save. <laughs> Why is it so bright? まぶしいな。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。ここって。
screen Is this a movie theater? Why are we the only ones here? It's kind of creepy. I genuinely have no clue what's going on. First, we were in Mementos. Then we ended up in some city. Now, a movie theater? Who spiked the coffee? Hey, our clothes. They're back to normal? Oh, you're right. Why only me? What's going on here? Well, fine. If all your clothes are returned to normal, and if we're truly still in the cognitive world, then we aren't seen as a threat here. Although, it seems we can't use the meta nav in here either. That is, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to just lower the volume whenever they talk. We seem to be somewhere different from that city. But still, in a bizarre situation, am I fighting, am I fighting with the audio of them talking? Is it confusing people? Because I'll go back to just waiting for them to stop. Hey, wait a sec. Where are Makoto and Haru? Huh? They're right here. Huh? Wait, they're not here! Could it be that we were separated? Holy shit, for real? We have to go find them! They might just be at that place where we just were. But how do we get back? We don't even know how we arrived here. Hold on, and let's all calm down. Maybe somewhere in this building. Maybe in this building. Or... 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 The menu as soon as we have access to the menu and lower the dialogue voices just a little bit. There's a door right over there. Why not? Why don't we try exploring beyond this room first? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, all of this has got uh, me uh, but it, do I have you plenty of that? comments on all this. Uh, but my uh, uh, comes uh, first. Uh, Let's be careful about this. In that case, let's get going. Stare on your toes, everyone. The concession stand. Goods and foods. Goods and foods? Goods and foods. I like that one the most. That's what we'll call it now. Popcorn and movie memorabilia line the storefront. This looks delicious. No eating without permission. Got it? Maybe Haru and Makoto are here. Of course not. Let's keep looking. There's a ticket station here. It looks like it's functional. I wonder what sort of ticket to print. We may be able to find out if we insert some money. Not that I have any. Looks like there's no clues here. Let's keep moving. Staff only area. The sign on the door says authorized personnel only. The door won't budge. Authorized personnel only, huh? I guess it's only natural that the door's locked. Then. I could flex my lockpicking skills here. Classic Yusuke. <laughs> yeah. But finding the code of the is more important right now. Let's get back to the search. Projection room. Whoa! Never been in the projection in a projection room before. Is this each thing the projection? Hey, don't go messing with that. Complex devices like projectors. Projectors are delicate. Oh, it's cutscene. Cryptic black object. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What's that? Is it a shadow? Shadow? 
It's suspicious, but it doesn't seem to be an enemy? What is this thing? I'm gonna poke it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to talk to it. I'm just gonna poke it. <laughs> How rude. I hope it doesn't attack you. Be careful, Ziku. <laughs> it feels really weird. Are you okay? Nothing bad happened? It just goes boing boing when you poke it? Okay. Someone try talking to it. <laughs> uh, hello? Can you hear me? Ah, oh, nice. Popcorn. Very fitting, considering the themes of this game. No reply. It's just a boingy object. It doesn't speak, or move, or react to us at all. Perhaps this is some kind of doll? He's the projectionist of the theater. Poke it again. Uh, oh, okay. It's just a doll, huh? It's way too big, though. Well, the ladies aren't here, so let's keep searching. Just leave it in the room. We poke it. It says nothing, and then we're just like, "Well, I'm just yeah, uh, uh all right." Closes the door and leaves, <laughs> or leaves and closes the door. That's the correct order. It's no use. They're not here at all. We even found that whole room of doors that were open. What's going on here? They. It'd be the same voice actor, who knows? It's as if we've been spirited away. This whole place is a true mystery. All signs do point to this being a movie, but something still feels odd. We haven't found a trace of anyone else here. <laughs> Seriously. How the hell we'd end up here? How the hell did we end up here? How the hell did we end up here? Uh... <laughs> These are all stupid answers. I'm gonna do this one though, because it's the dumbest. Oh, like we welled up here. <laughs> That's a funny way to put it. <laughs> Wait, what are you even talking about? What <laughs> Hey, everybody, Oi, come here for a second. Uh, maybe Morgana found something. Morgana, Let's get over there, Ziku. Yes, 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 yes. indeed. Oh. Morgana, what happened? What is it, Morgana? You find some kind of clue? Take a look at this door. What about it? What about it, Ron? What about it? Look at it! Look at it closely! Tell me, what do you see? Hmm. Okay, so we have sci-fi, dinosaur, flower, and police? <laughs> this appears to be the exit, but there are multiple thick chains on the door. Chains are held on with four different padlocks. What the hell is this? It's redundant security. Wait, doesn't this mean we're trapped in here? Abduction and confinement confirmed! Hey, Morgana, can't you pick the moment? Morgana! If we did something about them, I bet we could get out of here. Yeah, hey, Ziku, isn't there anything we can do? Could we even find the keys? 
You're, you're giving up already? Accepting defeat with grace can be admirable, but let's not do that just yet. Shall we find the keys? I already looked, but couldn't find them or anything else. Not even a mouse. While we were at it, how did it go on your end? Any sign of Makoto or Haru? <laughs> she can float in the air. Ah! Nice. Not at all. Looked everywhere, too. You didn't see a single clue. Since the exits chained up, it's doubtful they made it outside. What did it do? Hey, why don't we try heading back to where we first woke up? Maybe they've turned up there since we started poking around out here. Yeah, Lady An has a point, and who's worrying about it out here. Alright, let's head back. This place is just as creepy as last time. Indeed. Now I feel as if a spirit could appear at any moment. Cut it out, Inari! Hey! Someone's in here! I truly sense a spirit! Who the hell are you two? Stay on guard. Could you please stop? Them? You're frightening Hikari san. They're not enemies? Seems as much. Uh, cat? A cat? I don't know what voice to give her. A cat? A cat. A cat. We apologize for startling you too. And you are. The curator? So the theater is really abandoned. Could be that you all been trapped here as well. As well. Do you mean the same thing has happened to you two? Yes, it all seems unbelievable. But it happened in the blink of an eye. When I came to, all the customers had disappeared and the entrance was barred. When I quickly began searching the theater, then I found this customer. Hikari-san. She's cute. Look at her! Are you gonna ray out on us? Please don't be a ray clone. Please be your own character. Due to my responsibility as curator, I've taken her under my care. Uh, uh, um, uh, I... Uh, um, uh, um, calm down, Futaba. It's okay. Uh, um, y yeah. Wait, huh? You're, uh, you're shaking a lot. Yes, it's likely from the shock. She's awfully frightened. I, I remain by her side and hope she's saving her some of her anxiety. Oh, that's right! Hey, did you happen to see Haru and Makoto anywhere? They're our friends, but we got separated on the way here, so we're looking for them now. Friends? Mm-hmm. Have you seen them? We have been looked everywhere, but we can't find them. What do your friends look like? Could you provide us with descriptions or perhaps even photos? Uh, well, one's all spiky and the other one's got an axe. Oh, I know. Yusuke, could you sketch them? Ah, so da. Yusuke, nigaoe kakenai. I could if I had some supplies. Very well. Now I'll fetch you some suitable materials. They look like this. Cute! Blurry, but cute! Wow, that's so them! Oh, uh, these 
If I recall correctly, they were in the movie. Isn't that right, Hikari-san? Hikari-san. Oh! You know them? Oh. Um... Oh. Uh, she's so... She's like whispering. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to mimic that. Hikari is whispering to Nagi. What's with the whispering? She can just tell her herself, right? No. She's just being careful. She's scared of you, Ryuji. She's scared of you. How dare you frighten her? Hmm. That could definitely be why she's so cautious. <laughs> Some weird talking cats. Way <laughs> scarier than me. Don't call me weird. Hentsuna. <sighs> oh, looks like they're ready to share. Just as I thought. Both Hikari-san and I have seen you friends. We saw them in the movie, just like the rest of you. Huh? What do you mean, in the movie? Those two were originally in the movie, correct? Uh, well, yeah, they were, but... The in the movie part is what makes no sense. Well, leave that all for later. So, what exactly happened with those two? They've been captured by a character named Kamoshidama. Kamoshida Man. Kamoshida Man. Kamoshidama. Kamoshidama? Wait, Kamoshida? What's going on here? That sound. It's starting again. What's that supposed to mean? I mean do. 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 Has begun do. 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 It's movie time! Am I gonna voice over these? I don't know yet. I don't think I will. That poor dad. Why? Why? ヒントパルセイギに従う平和な世界。そこに絶対的なヒーローに不平を並べる愚かな悪が現れる。What <笑> No wonder no one's in this theater. So, that was totally Kamashita, right? I'd be a small girl's dad, evil doer spewbear. <laughs> yeah. There's no way he's a hero of justice. Who's this Kamashita that you speak of? Do you all know him? Yeah, he's a former teacher at our school. Basically, he's an effing criminal scumbag. 
But who's Kamashita in that movie? And what's up with the goofy costume? That trailer made him out to be the protagonist. Is he in any other films here? I have no idea. That movie you just previewed has been the only one playing all this time. What do you mean? It's truly odd. Ever since the anomaly occurred, only that movie has been playing here. Are you aware of the strange projections currently in the projection room? I don't suppose you mean that eerie black object, the one that's all spongy. That's the projectionist? It's not some doll? It's alive? Also, you, you predicted the game, Jumpy. Or was that someone else? <laughs> you did! <laughs> you did! You said he's the projectionist <laughs> when we first ran into him. We just call him that since he plays the films, but we have no idea who or what he may truly be. Really? I thought it was just... Pogjectionist. Oh! Oh, you made a pun. You predicted the game while punning. Cause he ca they just called it Bizarre Object or something, right? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Why are your eyelashes white? That bizarre being appeared in this in the projection room after the anomaly struck this theater. We know not his intentions, only that he continues to play the same film over and over. He scares me. I don't want to get near him. For the time being, we've been calling him Doe. Oh, like Cookie Doe? 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 No, it comes from John Doe. John Doe? Did that some John kind of foreigner? Do you know anyone with that name, Zika? Oh, yeah, I bet you some le <laughs> She did read musician! Sounds like something. It's just a placeholder name. I could feed into your insanity, but I'm not going to. Insanity? No, it's not insanity. It's just stupidity. I'm sorry, Ryuji. That was really dumb. <laughs> That's right. I'm surprised you knew. Yay, I got a catchy brownie points. Woohoo! It's the name used for unidentified corpse, primarily in police investigations and autopsies. Has Doe done anything else besides screening that movie? No, nothing at all. He doesn't even react when we speak to him. He's a whole mysterious oddity. We try our best not to interact with him. It reminds me of how I used to be. Did you say something, Futaba? Oh, nah, it's nothing. <laughs> But the movie Doe's playing, why is Kamoshida in it at all, let alone in the starring role? Is there some kind of connection between Doe and Kamoshida? Or perhaps it's a connection between this theater and Kamoshida? Please, wait a moment. It seems that you've misunderstood. Only since you've all arrived here has the movie become this one entitled Kamoshidama. Dojectionist. Become. Before your arrival, the movie playing in here was not titled Kamoshidama. Wait, what? Then Kamoshida wasn't originally the star? The film's plot was the same, but the face and name of the hero were entirely different. How could the movie character suddenly change like that, though? So, of all these strange events, including the adapted film, are tied to the you're own leaping out of a movie as well. series of surprises. I am so hungry. I have potato chips. I'm grabbing potato chips. Potato chips will be mine. I have to stand up to grab them though. Oh my god! Lightheaded. Potato chips. I will try not to eat near the mic. 
It is past nine, but I need to find a safe spot. <laughs> huh? What did you just say? We leapt out of the film. Yes, you all suddenly popped out of the theater's screen. Wait, wait, how does that make any sense? But you did indeed appear from the screen. Sorry, son. You witnessed it too. It was such a shock to us that we hurriedly hid ourselves among the seats. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's seriously impossible to just pass through movie screen. I wonder if this is a little bit of Persona 4-ishness. Poke. Ugh. Help. <laughs> Yusuke! Ryuji's hand passed right through the sc movie screen. Nice. Popcorn has been consumed. <laughs> Poking movie screens. <laughs> My hand! My hand, like, went into the screen! What really happened, right? This is absolutely unbelievable. Oh, hold on a sec. If Makoto and Haru were with us inside the movie earlier, does that mean we left them behind in that place on the other side of the screen? I'm afraid that appears to be the case. Basically, if we wanted to rescue them, our only option is to go back inside the film. We gotta go save him, right, Ziku? Of course we do. Alright then. Let's get to. Wait, are we supposed to just jump in? Oh, Nagi-san. Nagi-san, what's that? She's whispering to Nagi again. Hikari-san is terribly worried about your safety. This isn't dangerous inside the movie. She thinks it may be safer for you to stay here. Uh, thanks for the warning, but that danger only makes us more worried about him. Yeah, we have to get in there ASAP for our friends. Hmm? Your friends? But friends are... Hikari? Hikari? Okay, everybody, brace yourselves. We're jumping in. Three, two, one! Wait! What's up now? Uh... <laughs> Please, wait a second. Hikari is consulting with Nagi about something. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. <laughs> Hikari-san is still worried about you. So, she's asked me to lend you my help. Do you have anything in mind that could benefit us? Indeed. Now I may be able to offer some assistance. Won't you? Won't you please follow me? Nagi is heading toward the concession stand. If she's gonna help us, then let's see what she's up to before we get back in the movie. Huh? Uh, what the hell is this? Uh, a Kamashidama sign. This wasn't here earlier, right? Did this pop up while we were watching the Kamashidama trailer? Remember what Nagi said? She said the movie's details changed when we came to this place. So, perhaps... There could be a correlation, but I don't think we'll reach an answer at this point, no matter how long we hypothesize. That's true. Nagi-san's waiting for us at the concession stand anyway. Let's head over there. Oh! Oh! Shit! Well, the only reason why I 
felt like that's the case, at least. Them sticking their hand in the movie theaters is the Midnight Channel slash TV World-esque vibe. Because, um, if you remember from Q, the feeling of the TV world and the midnight, or whatever, the dark hour, not the midnight hour, <laughs> that's a different thing, uh, the midnight channel slash the TV world and the dark hour. It, the effects inside the fake Yasugami High were similar to one another, but we didn't really experience anything visually that felt super TV world-like. But now this is an opportunity to be like, yeah, it's the Dark Hour, the TV World, and Mementos all mashed into a... Mm. Into a... A chimera. <laughs> That's true. Nagi-san's waiting for us at the concession stand anyway. Let's head over there. I think I may have already read that, but I read it again. Yeah, because the thing from when they were in Yasugami, they mentioned, hey, you know, we, we're awfully tired in here. I think it was something along those lines. Like, it was more exhausting to be in the labyrinths than it would be for the cast to be in the TV world. The forecast to be in the TV world. The concession stand. Yes, goods and foods. <laughs> The merchandise here be of interest to you. Since the anomaly occurred, the stock here appears to have changed quite a bit. Hmm. Seems like equipment and items can be purchased and sold at this concession stand. We'll also be able to store and retrieve items here. Hmm. <laughs> wow! This will be really helpful, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. We should prep here before heading into the movie. After all, if we get attacked by those weird guys again. The cops are one thing. That huge one. What the hell was with that giant bird-like thing? Giant bird-like thing is going to be too much effort to say every time you're near one. Rename it. Okay, how about chicken dude? Too straightforward and super lame. Then you name it. Uh, me? Uh... Chicky... Why'd you make it sound cute? Considering how fiercely it pursued us, I'd name it the raging avian sent from hell. The rash. The rash! <laughs> and we'll just ignore Inari. Is it a monster in a movie? Why not name it something movie-related? Movie-related, huh? I don't really know all that much about Cinema... Cinema... Movie... Movie... The movie monster. Perhaps something like... Film Obscurite Etondo, I'm assuming. Hey! Foe! F-O-E! Wow! Eh? What? Filmio Scurite? Is that some kind of tongue twister? Projectionist diva. <laughs> Why French, though? Well, movies originated in France. It's not bad, but it's too long. I feel like my tongue will get all tied up. Let's see. Why don't you abbreviate that to... F-O-E. F-O-E. Hmm, agreed. I'd be able I'd be able to say that too without biting I'd be able to say that without biting my tongue too. You are adorable, Futaba. Your chibi form is so fucking cute. Ah. Hey, are you cool with us calling that strong weird enemy an FOE? Chicky peep peep is way better. Foey, yes, the foey. Works for me. It's decided then. No matter the name, that FOE is powerful. It'd be best for us to avoid meddling with it. Why were we being pursued in the first place? Who cares? We'll figure it out later. Putting Makoto and Maru comes first, yeah? Sorry, it's just a bad habit of mine. What would be a good detective at all? Well, let's get back to that freaky screen. 
Hold on, Futaba. Can you navigate us from outside the movie? Uh, right. Um, I think I can manage. Wait, we can't just leave Futaba here by herself. We won't. I've decided to stay behind too. I'm gonna investigate this theater and see if I can gather some useful intel. I found a friend already. <laughs> what sort of intel? Didn't we already look everywhere we could? Everyone, can I talk with you for a sec? What's going on? Why the whisper? It's about Nagi and Hikari. They've been nice to us, but we've only just met. The best strategy right now would be to investigate whether or not they're being honest with us. Oh, so for now, you guys go check inside that movie. Got that, Ziku? Leave it to us. Alright, that's settled. Of the movie theater too. So, uh, Nagi-san, Hikari, Morgana Nagi -san and Futaba are gonna stick around here. No, um, it's, um, shit. They were... She is gonna stay outside of the movie itself, but she can apparently navigate it as if we are in there. Like how it is in Q. The, uh, the navs didn't physically go inside the... the exhibits. They stayed in the velvet room, really, or near it. I'm not really sure where, but... Yeah. That's no problem for us, but... You're really going in there, even though it's dangerous. Well, it's like I said before. Our friends are the ones in danger, so we've got to rescue them. That's what friends do, yeah? Anyways, let's get going, guys. We're counting on you, but don't go too far in there. Come back if there's an issue. Okay, you be safe too, Morgana. Morgana, Wait. Wait. Is there something else? Here, this popcorn. Popcorn! Hikari is offering popcorn to me! Could that be for us? Take it with you. Oh, I prefer it unsalted. Oh, that's mean. Thank you. Hey, um, I've been wondering. If we go back inside the movie, we'll most likely transform again, right? Meaning they'll watch us turn into the Phantom Thieves? Huh? The Phantom Thieves? Shit, she figured it out already! Uh, well, um, about the Phantom Thieves thing. Is that from a recent criminal case? Or perhaps some new famous crime biopic? Biopic? Whatever. Ah, uh, words. Movie, Nagi. Ah, fancy words. I've yet to hear of. I don't get it either. Seriously? You don't know about the Phantom Thieves? I'm blown away over here. I'm sorry, I don't keep up much with current events. This goes for Hikari-san as well. Quit pitching a fit about it! I want them to know! Speaking of these Phantom Thieves, there is one thing I'm rather curious about. Were the costumes and special effects in the movie cosplay related or some similar situation? She totally saw everything about that. And Nagi-san, we're not certain ourselves. While we're inside the movie, we can somehow harness this power called the Persona. It may be a similar situation to how the hero in the movie was altered to become Kamoshidama. Oh, you really sold that! My, is that so? <gasps> so many perplexing developments. I'll take some time. It'll take some time for me to process all of this. It seems that we have a great deal of investigation ahead of us. Let's hurry back to the theater. Finally! 
Oh, he's just standing there. So they just hang out here. Hmm? A go home. <gasps> go homes. Yes. Mazi. <laughs> Get all this tutorial stuff out of the way. Oh, the UI for this is amazing. But it's blurry because I'm making it bigger. Go home, popcorn. Gutsy fries. Ten percent of HP. Status elements. Weapons. Ah, Survivor's knife versus jailbreaker. Thirty. Oh my God! The bottom screen. Look at that. It's so cute. It's expensive! Can I even afford- I have a thousand. Ooh, giant pen light. Probably want to focus more on armor. Ooh, yeah, uh, mine. It belongs to me. And get rid of that. Accessories. Monocle. Accuracy. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on me. Thanks. I have no money. Well, I have a hundred, but I have no money. <laughs> oh, man, I had all my money. <laughs> Wait, I have, I have, wait. Right, X is menu, because why? System. And a PDF tutorial, configure, configure. What at 50? Remember cursor position, because I like that. Well, eh. I don't need to invert anything. Fill in map walls automatically. Show guides. Display wall guide in your current area. Reset party formation after battles. Oh, yeah. Movement speed, run the block, battle speed. Fat, normal fast and very fast. Eh. Keep it on normal for now. Now everybody is a little quieter. That's... I mean, I have them mapped for Xbox buttons, so it's not in the same spot, but... <laughs> That's just the way I've mapped it. <laughs> yeah. We must state our hunger first. Hey, Nari, your stomach's growling too loud again. I wanna go check out the shop. Or do they just talk periodically, or...? Look at them just hanging out. Look at them just hanging out! Oh yeah, also... I wanna do... do look at formation. Yes. Mm. I like it when it's set up like this, but... Stats! Wrong fucking button! Shit! <laughs> Information. Stats. Persona. Single shot. Lunge. Giant slice. Okay, she heals. He's going to heal. Ooh! Ooh, it's a row! Shit! Is real. 
It's actually a really good heal, too. Okay, how... Okay, I've been an hour and a half. Hello, Ketchy. I'm blurring at the top, but... <laughs> okay, it's like 9.30. I should probably stop. We'll play more of this tomorrow, though. Oh, yeah, I need to save again, though. So, yeah! Exciting! We've started Q. Two. The second one. Mm -hmm. They are gonna keep talking. I wonder if fun stuff will happen once we get more people. That'll be exciting. Anyway, let me hit F4 on this. And the lemon on this. I will do a save state just in case. Stop that. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is still like really messed up. Let me... I just, I really want to fix this. Give me a second. Uh, I just, I really want to fix it, okay? There. <laughs> that makes me... that That's better. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's messy. But anyway, 